Hey gang, it's Showbite Plant, and today I'm going to show you the top five home brewing kits for beginners. So let's go. Well, it's a holiday season, and many of you out there might be looking uh, for gifts for uh, your loved ones. And if you have someone in your inner circle that is a craft beer fan, you might want to think about giving them the gift of home brewing. So today I want to do this video to kind of help you out to look for uh, kits for beginners or for beginning home brewers. Um, I want to say it up front that all the kits that I present here I've all used I all and I personally own so I've used them all. Um, I will have links down below to where you can purchase these uh, my Amazon affiliate links if you click on them it does help the channel so I thank you very much for that. Um, one of the things too I want to note is that all these brew kits are under five gallons. Um, Twenty something years ago when I first got interested in home brewing and started getting into it, if you went to home brew shop everything was five gallons. Uh, five gallons is a lot of beer, uh, especially at first when you're just learning how to make beer and you screw up beer. Five gallons of bad beer is really a lot of beer. So I went, I'm, I'm going with smaller kits. Um, Real quick, the parameters I use to kind of grade these kits. Number one is just ease of brewing. Um, again, this is for beginners, so I want things as easy as possible, um, as few steps as possible. Um, after you do a few easy brews, you could progress, but I always suggest that you start off easy as possible. Uh, second is I judged the beer kits what I call ecosystem. Not just the kit itself, but the website that the company that produced the kit has, the instructions. Um, do they not? Do they just sell a kit, or do they sell some other kits, some other recipes? Do they get into the cider making, uh, wine, mead, what have you? Um, again, do they have forums where I could talk to other people about brewing, what have you? Uh, third is I prefer kits that use plastic over glass. Uh, whether it's the fermenter or the bottles that you use. Uh, if you've ever broken a glass fermenter, it's quite a mess. Um, not that people do that all the time, but you only need to have it happen once or twice, and then you're kind of like, all right, we need to stop this. Also, too, when you start b brewing and you start bottling beers, your carbon, you, you'll do something called bottle conditioning where you carbonate in the bottle. If you're not careful, you can get too much carbonation and that leads to something called a bottle bomb. If you've ever had a beer bottle explode in your fridge, again, you know it's trouble, so you want to avoid that, so I always lean toward plastic. Uh, last but not least, instructions, easy use of instructions. Do they have clear instructions? Uh, some of the kits, the refills, they sell refill kits once you have the primary kit. Uh, sometimes they don't even have instructions, they just suggest you go to the website. Uh, just anything like that uh, that makes it easier on the brewer I'm all for. So with the parameters covered let's see the top five home brewing kits for beginners. The number five kit on our list is Craft A Brew. This is a refill recipe kit. This is their American Pale Ale. Uh, the kit itself is what they, what they call a partial mash. Uh, we use malt extract, but we also use real grain in it. Um, it's not the simplest form of brewing, but it, uh, it can produce a real nice beer. Uh, what came in the kit, I got my kit a few years back at a Bass Pro Shop. Uh, I believe today they still sell the kits and the refills. Um, so that's nice if you have a gift card from last Christmas or what have you. Uh, the kit I bought came with a what's called a glass carboy or glass fermenter, one gallon. Uh, came with a funnel, what's called a racking cane, just helps you transfer the liquid from the fermenter into either your bottles or another fermenter. Uh, rubber stopper, uh, the tubing you need, a tubing clamp to open and close the tubing when you come to bottling order. Uh, something called an airlock, an airlock. Uh, helps the CO2 escape during fermentation but keeps stuff from getting in. Uh, a thermometer, several points in the brewing process, you don't need to know what the temperature is. Uh, their quote unquote guide to craft brewing, basically an instruction uh, sheet, uh, sanitizer, and uh, then the recipe kit itself, the beer that came inside. 
I uh, believe it was a pale ale. I think they also had a kit with a Hefeweizen, what have you. Um, besides the beer kits for Craft Brew, they now sell wine making kits, uh, cider making kits, uh, kombucha, and I believe not too long ago they introduced five gallon kits. So if you want to do a little bit uh, larger kits. Uh, accessories on the websites, they sell uh, caps for the bottles. Um, these, this kit kind of suggests you have beer bottles left over, you save those for bottling that. So they'll sell the caps you put on the bottles and the capper. Um, they sell fermenters, the glass, and I believe now they do have uh, plastic fermenter if you want to buy that. And uh, they have their own branded merchandise. Uh, what I like about the Craft, craft Brew Kit, it's one gallon, which is nice. Uh, again, if you screw up a batch, it's only one gallon. Um, also, it's available at a retail outlet. Uh, so, most likely, a lot of these things, a little insider. After the holidays, if this merchandise doesn't move, a lot of times you'll see, see this stuff on discount. Uh, I believe that's how I got my kit. So, something to keep an eye out for there. I uh, dislike, it's a partial mash kit, so it's not the easiest brewing you'll do. We'll discuss a couple kits later that are easier to brew. Also, too, it kind of has a small ecosystem. Um, I remember at the time buying it, there wasn't, you went to the website, there wasn't a lot as far as instructions or forums where people talked about, you know, uh, tricking up the recipes or anything like that. And again, the firm error that it comes with is glass. The number four kit on our list is Brooklyn Brew Shop. Uh, this is one of the refill kits, Bikini Beer. It's actually a collaboration with Evil Twin Brewing. Uh, I bought my original kit at a Bed Bath & Beyond, so it, it is available. I, I haven't been to Bed Bath & Beyond in a while, but I think they still may sell it. Uh, so it is available at retail outlets. Uh, this kit is what they call an all-grain brew. Uh, it is the more advanced style of brewing. It's actually the type of brewing they do at a brewery, you know, whether a brew pub, nano brewery, what have you. Uh, obviously a much smaller scale, but it is that style of brewing. Uh, the kit came with one gallon fermenter, uh, a thermometer, glass fermenter, thermometer, the racky cane, the tubing, the tubing clamp, uh, screw cap stopper for the top of the fermenter, an airlock, sanitizer and the recipe kit. Um, Brooklyn Brew Shop also does hard cider. They also offer sparkling wine including rosé wine which I think is neat. Um, they have now five gallon kits and something that's really unique is they also sell uh, kits for fermenting your own food. Uh, think like making kimchi stuff like that which I thought was very interesting. Uh, on their website, they sell uh, growlers along with a CO2 cartridge. Basically, it's a way to you know, put your beer in a growler and they have the CO2 cartridge. So it's kind of a way to have turn your one gallon brew into a, a tap brew, which is kind of neat. Um, they sell siphons. They sell bottles. The bottles are glass. Um, Hydrometers. They sell a brew pot that's perfect size for one gallon batches. Um, Little insider hint, you can find it cheaper on, you can find an eight quart brew pot cheaper on Amazon or at Walmart, what have you. Um, they also sell wine bottles uh, for the wine making kits. Uh, what I like about the Brooklyn Brew Shop kit, it's one gallon, which is nice. Uh, they make really good beer because this is the more advanced technique to make beer. It makes just a better, better beer. Uh, also to the ecosystem with some of the other products they offer like I like, said so when I first found they did the sparkling wine thing I thought that was really neat so I like that uh, the downside um, the fermenter that came with it's glass which I, I told you I, I'm leery of and also to this is the most advanced form of brewing so for a beginner it might be a little tough you could do it I'm not saying you can't can't brew this beer or a, a person that's never brewed before can do it but technically it's the more difficult way to brew. The number three kit on our list is the Brew Demon Home Brewing Kit. Uh, I bought this kit a couple years back on Amazon. 
Brew Demon uses hopped malt extract. It's the simplest form of brewing. They basically take the grains and turn it into a malt extract. They go ahead and add the hops for you, which makes your life easier there too. Basically, you heat some water, add the hop malt extract. Uh, they give you a little pack of yeast with it. You add the yeast and uh, that is pretty much it. So it's the easiest form of brewing we could do. Um, in the kit, it came with this conical fermenter, um, came with the base, the spigot assembly. There's a little venting plug instead of a airlock. It has this little, when CO2 builds up, that venting plug opens up. Came with a recipe kit um, with the malt extract or the hot malt extract. They had what they called an enhancer, little, basically a little can of additional fermentable sugars. Uh, that bumps up the ABV a little bit, adds a little bit of body. Um, glorified sugar, to be honest. Uh, it also comes with sanitizer and instructions. Uh, besides the base kit, they sell a Craft Series Plus kit. Uh, they also do cider. Um, they have, since I bought this, I think introduced a one gallon fermenter, and they also have a five gallon fermenter and kits to correlate with those. Um, accessory wise they sell a full line of the bottling stuff they have bottles plastic bottles um, but I believe they also sell caps and cappers if you if you had uh, glass bottles uh, fermenter they have other brew demon kits I believe I produced at pale ale but they have like stouts and box and other style beers um, replacement parts for the fermenter or what have you what I like about uh, brew demon is it's the simplest form of brewing it really really is um, you know practically anybody can do it there's no practically to it anybody could do this type of brewing it's real easy you're gonna have everything you need at home real easy way to start uh, also like this fermenter if you've ever been into a brewery brew pub you notice the fermenters in the brewery are all shaped just like this one of the keys and why this is kind of a pork shape is because the way it comes down to the bottom of that cone, all that yeast that settles will settle down in the bottom and will settle below this spigot. It will make your life easier um, when it comes times to bottle. You just pour off that spigot, all the yeast is down there. Uh, you'll learn with the other kits, if you use a racky cane or whatever, sometimes that dead yeast gets transferred either into the bottle or if you go into secondary fermentation, um, that's a little bit of a hassle uh, here. The way this thing is shaped takes care of that. Um, as far as dislikes, uh, Brew Demon has kind of a smaller ecosystem. They have a limited line of products. Um, they don't do meat or wine or anything like that. Uh, also, too, they have a, a forum where if you wanted to go and talk to others, but there's not a lot of activity there. Uh, also, too, they don't do. I haven't seen much in the form of social media. Um, I think you go on YouTube, I think if you type in Brew Demon, I think my review of the, of the kit is actually the most popular video. They don't have a lot of uh, instructions, uh, you know, the, the website's fairly simple. Um, this is a two gallon fermenter, not a one gallon. Also too, depending on how your countertop's laid out in your house or room, this might be difficult to find space for or lay out. That being said, still only two gallons, it's still fairly smaller, so that is the Brew Demon Home Brewing Kit. The number two kit on our list is the Northern Brewer Craft Beer Making Kit. It's the last kit I reviewed, I just got it fairly recently. Um, the kit itself, if you, remember, if you saw the video, you remember it's a partial mash, so we're using malt extract, but we're also using uh, real grain. Uh, with the kit came the recipe kit, uh, one gallon fermenter, the airlock, the uh, the racking cane or the, the the tube to help transfer liquid, the plastic tubing that came with that, something called a bottling wand which helps us fill the bottles from the bottom up instead of the other way, kind of prevents too much oxidization of the beer. Uh, came with bottle caps and the capper we need for it, and also sanitizer. Uh, Northern Brewer, besides selling beer kits, uh, they also sell wine kits, cider kits, mead kits. Uh, actually, Northern Brewer is one of the largest home brewing supply companies in the U.S., probably the world. 
Uh, I think they have physical locations in Minneapolis. They're based out there. But you can go on their website, and they sell ship anywhere in the U.S. They sell everything, uh, bottles, fermenters, uh, sanitizers, yeast, hops. Um, they sell, they sell uh, everything from these beginner kits up to some intermediate kits. Uh, they sell brewing systems, uh, one barrel brewing system. One barrel beer is equivalent to two kegs. Um, some of the systems and the things they sell are not just for home brewers or even uh, intermediate home brewers, but for people that are in homebrew competitions, uh, also nano breweries, uh, brew pubs. Uh, for, for not just home brewers, but for actual professionals, you can buy 15, 50 pound bags of malt from them. It, they have everything. So their ecosystem is amazingly big. Um, what I like about them is, again, that ecosystem is unbelievable. Uh, you, you, you don't have enough time and money to go through all their stuff and buy all their stuff and what have you. Uh, they got great forums on the website. Uh, they also, um, one of the neat things they do is something similar to Brooklyn Brew Shop. They have collaboration kits where uh, they'll collaborate with a famous beer from a brewery and they'll, they'll make a kit where you can make that beer yourself. Uh, they have a great YouTube channel. Check out the Northern Brewer YouTube channel. They talk about all kinds of brewing techniques, uh, brewing recipes, what have you. Um, this is for the more advanced brewer, I will warn you, but uh, they have that. Uh, dislikes, uh, again, this was a partial mash kit. It's not the easiest form of brewing. Uh, this came with a glass fermenter. As you can probably tell by now, I'm not a big fan of glass. Also, I do have a ton of glass fermenters, though, from owning all these kits. But, um, again, the glass thing, I just suggest avoiding for beginners. Uh, also, too, because Northern Brewer does all this advanced brewing because it, you know, it's a place that even professional brewers go to, it might be too easy for you to just want to go crazy. And like I said, just, just take it slow at first. That's why I'm suggesting beginner kits. So that is the Northern Brewer uh, craft beer making kit. And my number one kit for beginning home brewers is Mr. Beer. Mr. Beer was the kit I first started on. Um, it does uh, kit a lot of pe people started with. Uh, it's, it, uh, it's been around for a long time. They're probably one of the first easy kits out there. Um, they're also, you, you can find them in a lot of retail outlets, which is great. Um, they've changed the starter kit over the years, but the base starter kit uh, comes with this two gallon glass fermenter, comes with the spigot assembly, comes with the recipe kit. Most of the time, it's just this can right here. Uh, it's a can of hot malt extract. Underneath the lid is the yeast. Um, they even they have the instructions on the can of the malt extract. But one of the things they also do in the kits, which I, I think is great, is they also have a CD with the instructions, kind of talk to you about everything through the process and also everything Mr. Beer which I think is great. Some people, you just, the, the, they like to visually see the beer being made easier than just reading through the instructions. Uh, they also come with a non-rinse cleaner, which is kind of nice. You don't have to worry about, you know, if you went with like an iodine cleaner, or God forbid you tried bleach or whatever, you'd have to thoroughly rinse. That non-rinse cleaner really makes your life easy. Uh, Mr. Beer, besides these beer kits, uh, sell... Um, an upgrade craft series, they sell a partial mash kit, uh, they sell cider kits, root beer making kit, which I've reviewed, they make an excellent root beer, they have wine. Uh, a few years back, Mr. Beer merged with Cooper's from Australia. Cooper sells five gallon versions, or they sell cans of hot malt extract used to make five gallon batches. Um, Cooper's is a major brewery in Australia, and they sell all kinds of malt extract, what have you. Really expanded uh, the ecosystem for Mr. Beer. Uh, Accessory-wise, they sell various sizes of uh, their fermenters. Uh, the standard was two gallons. Um, 
when Coopers came along, they started selling five gallon fermenters. Now they have a one gallon fermenter. They have, I believe they even now have a conical fermenter, the shape similar to the Brew Demon. Um, like I said, this hot malt, speaking of Brew Demon, the gentleman that found it, Brew Demon, I believe worked for Mr. Beer, so there's a lot of similarities there. Um, again, similar with the hot malt extract, which is the easiest form of brewing. Um, they sell, uh, one of the things they sell that I like is they have various uh, strains of yeast and various strains or uh, varieties of hops. Those are some of the easiest ways to start tweaking these beers. Uh, this here is what they call the classic American light. It's a light ale. They give you just a generic ale yeast, but if you want to go with a pale ale yeast or something like that, that changes the beer's flavor without really adding too much to your, your workload. Um, they sell growlers, they sell bottling equipment. Again, nice variety of equipment they sell. And also, they have a nice variety of um, recipe kits. You can find stouts, cervezas, ales, what have you. Uh, what I like, easiest form of brewing, just like the Brew Demon. It's the easiest form of brewing. Uh, they have the plastic uh, fermenters. They also sell plastic bottles, um, which are great. Uh, the ecosystem here, though, compared to the Brew Demon, is they have more ways for you to grow. Uh, they have a larger product line. They also do now have a um, kits that have partial mash. So if you want to start playing around with real grains, uh, again, they sell additional hops and yeast. So if you want to start playing around with yeast, uh, they also have a nice recipe section where they suggest you know you take maybe a porter but add some cherries in it to make a cherry porter, stuff like that. There's really a lot of recipes out, ideas out there. Even though you're starting with the most basic form, this hot malt extract, they give you ways to kind of tweak these beers and again, grow as a brewer. Uh, dislikes, I don't have too many dislikes. Um, I will say this though, as someone that's homebrewed for a little bit, I'm not an advanced homebrewer, but I'm definitely not a beginner. I wish they had some more intermediate level stuff. I wish they kind of expanded the partial mash line, stuff like that. Uh, also, too, I've brewed Mr. Beer a ton of times, and several times when I've ordered some of the malt extract. It's not out of date, but we're getting kind of close. Uh, they'll have an uh, expiration date on the bottom, and several times I've gotten the stuff, and it's been kind of close. So, But overall, Mr. Beer's number one. Well, that's it. My top five home brewing kits for beginners. Um, I will leave a link down, like I said, I'll leave a link down below if you would like to purchase these homebrewing kits, you can do so through the link. I uh, also suggest you check out my series on homebrewing kits where I review not just all these kits, but a couple other kits. I also take a couple of kits and kind of tweak them, do some little things to show you how to kind of expand on these kits. Um, with that being said, I hope you like this video. If you do, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or know of a beer kit you would like me to review, please leave it in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.